Yucatan Anglers TV, Yucatan, Mexico, inshore fishing television. Yucatan Anglers TV is brought to you by Progresso Fishing Tours. Find us at yucatansnook.com. DOA Fishing Lures, Okuma Inspired Fishing, Eagle Claw Trocar Hooks, Yozerti Fish the Best, and yucatansenote.com. Oh, yeah. Live the adventure. In this episode, we are visiting the quaint fishing village of San Felipe nestled on the northern coast of the Yucatan Peninsula, 137 miles from our home base in Progreso. It's just you, a set of wheels, a full tank of gas, fishing gear, and the wide open road. The road trip to San Felipe offers a variety of interesting sights along the way. On our way to San Felipe, we stopped at a beautiful and quiet, off the beaten path gym, a natural fresh water swimming hole called a cenote. The Yucatan here is just known for its many cenotes, in fact, in an estimated 6,000 of them. A cenote is a deep water-filled sinkhole in limestone that is created when the roof of an underground cavern collapses, exposing the groundwater underneath. Most cenotes have crystal clear waters perfect for scuba, snorkeling, and swimming. We followed picturesque little towns, churches, rolling hills as we approached our destination. San Felipe is the doorway to one of the natural wonders of the state of Yucatan, the Rio Lagartos Biosphere Reserve. San Felipe is an ecotouristic destination because of a wide variety of fauna, 350 species of birds, and the bays and mangroves are home to a large population of juvenile tarpon between five and 35 pounds, snook, barracuda, plus many other species. The surrounding waters contain lobster, octopus, grouper, and other delicacies, all part of the local delicious cuisine. Well, folks, good morning. Welcome to Yucatan Anglers TV, Yucatan, Mexico, inshore fishing television. We are back again in Rio Lagartos Biosphere Reserve, although this time we're launching out of San Felipe with my good friend Pedro Figueroa. We're going to go see if we can catch us, hopefully today, some snook, but we're going to target some tarpon as well, some juvenile tarpon. So y'all stay tuned. We're getting ready to go fishing. Well, folks, we're going to start here this morning, right up here against the mangroves. We're in about three to four foot of water here, grassy bottom. I'm already starting to see some, some little sabalitos, and it looks like some little snook popping up there. I'm going to throw this top water at them, and we're going to see if we can hook one up here first thing this morning. Well, folks, San Felipe is just a, a, an amazing place to fish. I mean, the... The ocean goes right up to the mangroves for about a mile out. It's only three or four foot of water. Turtle grass flats, top water, jig action. I tell you, the, the fishing here normally is just fantastic. So we're going to target some fish up closer to the mangroves to see what we can uh, we'll to see what we can pull out for the day. Fish. 
Sometimes this line will get caught in the split ring. I just want to get rid of these split rings all together. Folks, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Yucatan Anglers TV. Yucatan, Mexico, inshore fishing television. This segment is brought to you by DOA Fishing Lures. Okuma-inspired fishing. Eagle Claw Chokar Hooks. Yozuri, fish the best. Nice and deep little channel through here. It's about three, four foot deep. There's some little tiny ones, little sabalitos, little baby tarp and little juveniles. Tuck back up into this pocket here. Oh. Nice little deep channel. Oh, look. It's a little tarp, our little little snook, I think. I tell you, thrown for these little juvenile tarpon tucked way back up into these little pockets in the mangroves is such a blast. It's hard to cast, so you got to resort to that old slingshot maneuver where you just flick that lure back up into there and get them. I see. On the slingshot. On the slingshot. Ah! <laughs> okay, gracias. Such a blast, I gotta tell you. I just, I love fishing up tight with the mangroves. Downsize that lure, the little DOA jig. It's just a two inch jig, and I tell you, it works every single time. Folks, stay tuned. We'll be right back. Yucatan Anglers TV, Yucatan, Mexico, inshore fishing television. Folks, I feel really blessed that I'm able to live here in the Yucatan and fish some of these just spectacular, spectacular fisheries. I hope you can get down here one day and look us up, give us a call. We'd love to, uh, we'd love to show some of these areas off to you. Go to yucatansnook.com. Oh, All of our information is there. And I'll look forward to hearing from you. A lot of bait fish right over here. Something's feeding. Look at that. That's a little needle fish, I think.
That is good stuff. Come on, come on, Daniel. Four good swipes there. Pretty awesome. We had a couple of really good blow ups right through here on the top water. Just, I mean, this one snook took four or five swipes at it, but just wouldn't bite that that little Yozurti topwater hard enough to where I could stick him. Still, it gets your blood just up Don't open. Me. There's a crocodile coming for us, right over here, right here, right at uh, right at 12 o'clock, one o'clock. He's coming for me. Yeah, the wildlife here, y'all, in San Felipe is just amazing. Numerous crocodiles we've seen today. I doubt there's going to be a big snook laying there with a crocodile right next to his ass. Catch me a crocodile. Everything else seems to like these little DOA terrorized jigs. Oh, got it. Oh, man, that was a hard hit. That was a good hit. That was a good hit. Yeah. Well, we are looking for the fish here in San Felipe, Yucatan. Just on the outside of the the mangroves here in the shallow grass flats that go out for probably a half a mile or so and only into three foot of water. We've seen a few small rolling tarpon and uh, some snook almost had a, had a nice blow up there. But no catch -ar. There's A couple little, looks like a quite a little pod of little baby tarpon right up in here. See if I can get it to hit, hit this little DOA terrorize. Come on. Come on. I see you, I see you. Throw the bunch of them back up in here. We went for that as soon as he hit it. Did you see that? I must have landed on his head. Once again, folks, fishing up tight against these mangroves, it's a lot of times really hard to throw back up into there. So if you can master that slingshot, where you grab that lower, slingshot it back up into the mangroves, nine times out of 10, you're gonna catch a little fish. I think there's a big snook and there's a big tarpon in, well, a little tarpon, but I've seen a real big snook come and take a swipe out of this. Gosh! Oh, he went for it. He totally went for it. He totally went for it. He hit it, pulled it right off. Just 
just real shallow into the grass. Folks, stay tuned, more action to come, plus our Tech Talk, and you're gonna enjoy this week's Catch of the Day. Yucatan Anglers TV, Yucatan, Mexico, inshore fishing television. Folks, the inshore fishing areas here in the Yucatan are just simply spectacular year round. We don't have a small season. We have a year round season for snook, tarpon, barracuda. Uh, of course, the bigger ones start to move in May through August, uh, but year round we get to target these little juveniles. And I tell you, if you love fishing up tight to the mangroves, pulling these little juvenile tarpon and snook out, it's something that you just gotta put on your bucket list. I feel blessed and I'm able to to live here in the Yucatan again and, and to be able to do this on a daily basis. You gotta join me. Well, that's gonna be it for San Felipe for this trip. We, uh, you know, we're, we're lucky that we still get to catch even these juvenile tarpon here in December. Um, again, you know, they stay in year round, so it's really kind of awesome. June, July, and August, even September, the real big giant ones move through here, those 60, 70, 80 pounders. So we are always excited to come back here in the summertime and catch some of the big ones. But in the wintertime, we can still come out here and catch some of these small ones. Wasn't a superb day, but it was still a lot of action. We got a lot of bumps, a lot of attacks. Almost had a nice snook on the top water, but you know, that's fishing. Y'all stay tuned for the next show. We're gonna take you back to Progresso. We're taking you fishing in our home base area. And uh, well, thanks for joining us here on Yucatan Anglers TV, y'all. Adios. Well, folks, welcome to our tech talk here on Yucatan Anglers TV. I wanted to do just a little talk about the lures that we were using in San Felipe. You know, when we're fishing up against the mangroves real tight into those little channels, you really need to downsize the lures. So what I started with was the, uh, the popper from Yozurdi. This is a great little popper. They had had a lot of really amazing snook attacks. Unfortunately, we just didn't get one to to get stuck and bring them into the boat. But we had some really good attacks, which was really amazing. And then as well, one of my favorite little lures that just seems to tear up the, the tarpon, man. They love this thing, is these little DOA terror eyes. Uh, the one hookup that I got with those three or four jumps was on this little candy apple red with the sparkles. Uh, these DOA terror eyes are really, really a nice jig. Uh, this white color here with the little red in it works just as well. So folks, when you're fishing up close to the mangroves, you wanna downsize that lure. Um, that way you can get it up into that real shallow water. You can tease those little juvenile tarpon and you get a great hookup. Y'all stay tuned. Coming up next is the fresh catch of the day. Well folks, welcome to the fresh catch of the day. We are here in our home base, uh, just right up the road from our house in Chilem and Chubernau, uh, Yucatan, Mexico. And we are at the Que Onda Cafe. This is a new restaurant that's just opened up here a few months ago by our good friends, Paul and Carol. And we are gonna be treated to trout almondine. And I tell you what, it was tasty.
What a great way to wrap up another fine fishing day. My wife, myself, our camera crew, Chris and Ruth, we had an excellent time and we had an excellent meal. Again, thanks to Paul and Carol at the Cayon de Cafe in Chilem, Yucatan, Mexico. Y'all stay tuned for our next episode. We'll look forward to fishing with you. Well, not only is Chef Paul a excellent cook, but he's a fantastic artist. I have numerous, numerous paintings of him on the wall at our house, and uh, some of his fish paintings, I tell you what, are just spectacular. Hey, if you guys are interested, shoot me a line. I'll tell you how to get in contact with it, and you can put one of these on your walls as well.